Hi guys, I'm Jars. Thanks for tuning into another video. Today I'm going to set up this Mini Z MR03 as a loaner car that people can borrow if they want to race at our club, Brizzy Mini Z Club, here in Brisbane, Australia. And I'm going to set it up for box stock class. So I'm using this Kyosho MR03 chassis kit, which comes with the chassis and the transmitter. However, it doesn't come with a body and it doesn't come with wheels or tires, so you have to add that yourself. So this is an almost ready to run kit that's a bit cheaper than the full ready to run kits. And I'm gonna add some parts that I got here. Here are some used wheels and tires. Got some PN brand yellow front springs, some tire tape, and this Joe Marima body that I'm gonna use. Uh, also got this fiberglass T-plate over here. So uh, let's go and set it all up. First, we'll take it out of the box. So that's a close look at what you get. Hobby grade mini RC car, 128 scale. It comes with bearings already as well. So that's good. And it's set up uh, with a 98 millimeter wheelbase, which fits most of the bodies in the Kyosho Mini Z range. Some more goodies, some more parts to set up, some cones. Oh, it actually comes with another motor mount and springs, which is nice. And here's the transmitter, KT531P transmitter, which works great. Gonna go ahead and set the transmitter up with batteries using Panasonic Eneloop Pros. Using my nice Alpha blade that I've been recommended and it does work nice. All right, so there's the chassis. What I'll do, I'll start by changing the front springs because that's super easy. So two springs there, black, and gonna add the PN brand front springs, which are a bit of a cozy fit, but they fit just fine. And while I'm doing this, I'll put the nose clip on for the Jo Marima body as well and put the screws back on. I uh, don't need to screw these on too tight, otherwise you can strip the thread inside. So just so it's snug. And that's one step done. We've done yellow springs, which are the hard springs, and put the nose clip on. Next thing we'll do is these wires, which I recommended that you take them out of the clip so you reduce the friction there because sometimes they can snap off the connection there. So just nice, like to run them loose. Another thing I'm gonna do is change the pinion gear. The MR03 comes installed with a six tooth pinion, but they also include seven, eight, and nine tooth. The lowest setting, the six tooth, is higher acceleration but lower top speed, whereas the biggest pinion they include, the nine tooth, is a less acceleration but a higher top speed. And if you're running a large size track like the one we do at Brizzy Mini Z Club, the nine tooth is the best one to use. If you're running on a small track, then you're gonna want to use a smaller pinion. We've got the nine tooth here, 789. We're gonna get the nine tooth out. To use a nine tooth pinion, you have to replace the spacers uh, inside the motor mount that go on either side of the motor. Take off the wheel nuts. We're gonna take this clip off the motor, the motor, then we can take the motor out. Here are the current spaces for the six tooth setting. We'll take those spaces off and I'll put the nine. Okay, there are the nines. Take the old pinion off as well. Oops, we just lost it onto the floor, that's okay. And we put the nine tooth pinion on, push it in. The motor is back in. We'll put this clip back on. Put the gear diff back in and nice gear mesh there. While we're doing that, so let me put the wheels and tires on as well. So I'm using these used wheels looks like 
I'm not sure what brand, it could be GL. I got a Kyosho 20 degree radial tire on, which come highly recommended for box stock class. I use 20 degrees on the rear, 30 degrees uh, on the front. So just chuck that on and they work really well for box stock class, highly recommend that combo. Once you uh, step up into higher classes, you might wanna try marker brand rears and PN Racing brand fronts and they'll give you more grip. But for box stock class, Kyosho branded tires are sufficient and actually have really good grip. And also while I'm doing that, I'm gonna replace the wheel nuts with these Kyosho alloy wheel nuts. These Kyosho uh, wheel nuts are my favorite at the moment to use for these mini RC cars. So, so when you're putting these Kyosho wheel nuts on, you wanna make it tight, then bring it back a quarter turn and that'll be sufficient. Now let's do the front wheels. I still gotta mount these tires. These are Kyosho super low height, 30 degree. And I got these used wheels from my parts bin as well. These wheels don't have tire tape at the moment. So just gonna put some narrow tire tape on. I think these are PN brand. Most recommended tire tape brand that I've read online is Kyosho R246, but I don't have any of that right now. So pain will have to do. You just you just put it all around the wheel, put some pressure on it, and there's double-sided tape, so you just peel it off. Then you put the tire on. Uh, just take note, the tires have like a groove on one, one side, so if you look at both sides, the groove is on this edge, and that goes with the, the lip on the wheel. One, side is raised so you have to match it up do a bit of lifting at the sides to get it nice and balanced make sure it's even across the whole wheel it doesn't take long you don't need to put too much effort or put too much time the car will run perfectly fine in box stock class i tell people that the most important thing is your driving. The setup in box stock class is not that important. As long as you're using a good tire combination, box stock cars will run really, really well. And then it's a matter of just getting your driving ability up. And once you do get your driving ability up, it's time to move up to the next class. You don't wanna to put too much effort in box stock class, tuning and all that, because once you get good enough, you're ready for the next class, stock class that requires more, more of the tuning side of things, as well as the driving. One bearing on each side, the wheel on. See how good the bearings are? Not bad. Uh, my favorite bearings are PN brand dry shield hub bearings. Those are amazing and they're not too pricey. So I've tightened the wheel nut, not spinning anymore. So do a quarter turn backwards. And that's fine. Let's put it on the same on the other side. Okay, same thing again, tight, quarter turn back, and it spins freely. We're almost done now. So we've done the yellow springs, front wheels and tires, rear wheels and tires. We've changed to a nine tooth pinion. Last thing, we're gonna change the T-plate on the bottom. Uh, the front springs and the T-plate, you don't really need to do. I can drive the car just fine without doing these, but changing these additional parts do make the car run better in my opinion. All right, here's the T-plate we're using, PN fiberglass. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like. Now I just gotta screw it in. Almost done with this screwing. Okay, that's all done now. Nice flex. All right, so, that is actually all done. It didn't take too long. Let's just put the body on, see what it looks like. Let's see. Looks cool. Race ready. Okay, I don't have the track set up, so can't test it out. We have our club day tomorrow, which is why I wanted to do this right now, tonight, and it is ready to go. But what I'll do, I'll just chuck some batteries in and give it a quick test run. 
Might as well show you the batteries I'm using. PN High Power 750s, highly recommended. My favorite batteries for the AAA 128 scale cars. That is such a nice shiny chassis. Kyosho wheel nuts, it's looking clean. So just a quick recap, we did the yellow springs, put the Joe Marima clip on. I changed the pinion gear on the motor to a nine tooth for the highest top speed. Took the wires off that clip so to reduce the chance of it uh, coming loose at the solder joint there. Um, I put on rear wheels and tires, Kyosho 20 degree wide radials. I put the front wheels and tires using Kyosho 30 degree super low height slicks. And I put the PN fiberglass T-plate number five, which I believe is the hard. So yeah, that's it. Before I test that the motor runs well, just a couple other suggestions. If you wanna get some more performance, you can do a water break in with the motor, which is when you just dip the motor in, uh, dip the motor in water, usually distilled water, if you have it, and just run it at low RPM for, for a while and that can give you a speed increase of about 10% or so from what uh, some of my members have reported. And another thing you could do, which is a modification, a mod, is called the kingpin flip mod, which is when you take these kingpins on the front suspension and you flip them over. And what that will do, it will uh, give you less friction because there's a bit of uh, friction on the suspension in its stock form. And when you do the kingpin flip mod, it will free it up a bit. And I personally uh, can drive it either way. I don't really notice. A, some people report massive, a massive difference. But when it comes to actually driving, I don't think it makes a big difference, in my opinion. Uh, one guy who was constantly winning in our club before, he never did the kingpin flip mod. And his car ran awesome. So you can do it. It's probably worth doing, but uh, I think you can go without. All right, let's try it out. So turn the transmitter on, turn the car on. Let's see, I'm not sure if it's binded already. Oh, yep, there it is. Yep, there you go, runs. All right, but that's not it. As you can see on the transmitter, it's flashing like so. That means it's in training mode, which is 50% throttle. So it's actually, when you get the kit, it comes in training mode as sort of like a beginner mode, but we don't want that. So to turn that training mode off and get the full speed, we're just gonna turn the transmitter off, hold down the throttle, turn the transmitter back on, and then shortly after you can let go and you'll see the light will be solid. Now it will be the full speed with the nine tooth pinion. Let's check it out. Much better. All right, so that's it. This loaner car is all set up, ready for box stock class. For anyone who wants to borrow a car, and we'll give it a go tomorrow if I have time and see if I can get footage of it running. But that's all good to go. All right, so here's some footage of it in action. There it is there. And as you can see, it handles really well. And on this club day, it was good enough to take third place out of 14 box stock drivers. Like I said, box stock class the most important thing is the driving more than the setup and just uh, changing a few things and the car will handle really well thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next video